Pastor Greg here from St. Paul's United Methodist Church and Wesley Foundation. There's something about stone walls that are always really fascinating to me. It's something about the combination of, of their texture, the way they feel, uh, the way that they hold their temperature, whether hot or cold, the, the way they, they fit together, right? Various shapes into something that becomes straight and beautiful. Also, it always feels like there maybe is like a, a thousand stories held within these old stone structures. This uh, particular stone wall is part of the building at St. Paul's United Methodist Church and Wesley Foundation. And when I see these stones on the outside of our building, I love the idea that they've played container to generations of people's stories, people who have lived out their faith together in community through rough times, through good times, through fire, and through flood. I'm thinking about stones because uh, one of the readings in the lectionary this week comes from 1 Peter, where it talks about the fact that we are living stones being built into a spiritual house. What a fascinating image, right? Living stones. I think it's so interesting. It's a word picture that helps me to imagine a structure that is flexible and agile, not so much a wall to keep things out, as a support that is adaptable and that makes room. I wonder what it would mean for us to be like living stones, like stones that are alive and, and in relationship with one another so that we fit together like these stones to become something more than what we could ever be on our own. We're gonna explore this more fully in our worship services this weekend which are held in person at 9 and 10.30 on Sunday uh, on College Avenue in State College and live streamed at 10.30 uh, on our YouTube channel, which you can join live or anytime after that. If you are new to St. Paul's or uh, maybe you've been out of touch for a while, we'd love to connect or to reconnect for you to be a part of this journey with us not because we somehow have all the answers, but because we are asking lots of questions and we would love to hear your story as part of the way we are living into the asking and the answering and the being built together as living stones. We hope to see you soon.